So today I'm gonna to be demonstrating two other fabric construction techniques. We put together a folder that says wovens on the front and inside over here, I've already shown you how to do a plain weave. It looks like a checkerboard, so it goes under one, over one, under one, over one, under one. Again, these are called the weft yarns. They go across the frame of the loom, if this were real yarns, and then the warp, you know, the warp yarns go the long way, the length of the whole piece of fabric. So what I've done here is I've already cut up the pieces of paper and I've taped them down. Be careful, make sure when you tape them, you tape this one, it says tape across the top. Those are the warp yarns. And then these are the weft yarns, yarns that says tape down the side. But you wanna be careful that you bring this upper sheet lower than where your cuts are. You gotta make sure that you have it so that you can see the top of the cuts. And over here, you wanna make sure that these tops of these cuts clear the, bo the bottom page. I'm just gonna take this back. And the characteristic of a twill weave, and let me show you this paper again. The characteristic of a twill weave is that you can see the diagonal line running through it. So I'll show you the best way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is over two, under two, over two, under two. So I'm going over those two. I'm gonna lift these up and I'm gonna go under those. Over those, under those. And I'm gonna put the ending yarn inside the frame. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna keep looking to make sure that I have the blue. I'm just sort of concentrating my eyes on the blue. And if those two blue are covered, or covered by blue, then these are gonna be the ones that are covered by blue. So I'm gonna go under that. I'm gonna make sure that these two are blue. And then I'm gonna go two purple, two blue. And I can only do one purple here, but I wanna bury it under the frame, okay? So I'm gonna fix my eyes and I'm just gonna carry it in stair steps. So that means these first two will be purple and then it'll show up blue, blue, Purple, purple, blue, blue, bury it in the frame. I'll just go on and finish this up for you. When you get down to here, notice that you're gonna be needing to have the blues right here, which means you're gonna have two purples, so this first one is gonna be a blue. So you've gotta repeat the pattern over again. They're gonna eventually go right off the page, but you gotta know when to come back in with the repeat. There, take my tape and tape it down. Okay, there you have it. 
that's an example of a twill weave. Again, the kind of fabrics that are made out of twill weave would be fabrics that are really need to be strong, like parachutes or tents. Um, denim is made out of twill weave. It's a strong fabric. So there you have it. There's a twill weave. The last one we're going to talk about and we're going to demonstrate is called a satin weave. So satin weave, right here you'll see that it has what's called floats. It's going to go over four, under one, over four, under one. So let's get this ready. I'm going to cut off this piece that we don't need. Push that to the side and I'm just going to quickly cut these. Remember to hold the scissors correctly, put your thumb in the one hole, put your two or other three fingers in the, in the elongated hole. Some people, believe it or not, they hold them upside down and they don't understand why they're doing such a bad job at cutting. So these are all the weft yarns. And then we'll take we'll cut across these warp yarns. I'm gonna cut off this piece, this extra piece. And I'm just gonna cut on the lines here. So on a loom, this would be the yarns that would be the lengthwise of the whole entire loom. And the weft yarns would be carried across in whichever pattern is chosen. Now, the reason why I show you three different kinds of weaves is because that's all the kinds of weaves that we do. Um, there are variations to this where they um, do uh, different combinations of these three weaves, plain, twill, and satin, in order to give a jacquard look or a or a more decorative look. Maybe they can make a, a design into the into the weave, but they use these three weaves as their um, as the basis of the, all fabrics. So I'm going to tape across the top of this. On this satin weave, I'm going to tape down the side over here. Again, make sure you're lower than the tops of the cuts and that you're within the cuts of the weft yards. Okay, all right. So again, I'm gonna fold these back. And in order to do a satin weave, which is a very fragile type of a weave, you wouldn't use this on a fabric that had a lot of um, that needed to be used often because sometimes it snags because of the fragility of it. So we're gonna go across four and under one, and then I'm gonna go across whatever's left and underneath the frame. And then, this out of the way, then I'm gonna take it down the next one, and, and this time my eyes are gonna be right here on the stair steps, I'm gonna call them. So this first one is gonna be purple, because the next four are gonna be green. Then the next one is gonna be purple, and then whatever's left is gonna be green. So I'm gonna keep watching to make sure that I move this down as a stair step. So the first one will be green, then it'll be purple, four more greens, and then a purple. You can see what I'm talking about now. I'm gonna pick up this one, and I'm gonna go over four, greens, and then this one's going to be purple. I'll finish this up to show you. And the pattern repeats right here.
go. There's your satin lady.